bum, bum. What is going on, you guys? My name is Josh, also known as Harry Tornado. Uh, doing a little live chat today because we got to talk about this last Goodwill mystery palette. Okay, I want to. We'll, we'll get into that in just a second. If you guys are rewatching the live stream at a later date, if it's already not live anymore, I definitely appreciate you guys rewatching. So we'll tr try to get into the palette uh, conversation as quickly as possible. I do want to make sure that uh, visual and audio sounds good. So I'm waiting for the actual video to start up here on the viewer side so I can get some feedback in the chat just to make sure everything is going smoothly. Uh, what's up, everybody in the chat? Uh, first of all, shout out to... Uh, where'd it go? Flip the World. Flip the World gave a 99 cent super chat before the live stream even started. So I definitely appreciate that. Uh, you saw me at Caz Boys. I haven't been at Caz Boys in a while. I haven't been to Crazy Caz Boys in uh, man, like two months, two or three months. Actually, I don't even know if I've been to Crazy Caz Boys this year. I think the last time I was there was back in December. Uh, okay, looking and sound, sounding good. Awesome. Awesome. Cool. Cool. All right, let me... Let me just look at the chat. for The Flipping Accountant. Uh, what's up, man? First one in the chat. I appreciate you being here. Deal Miner 915 Got his popcorn ready. OG Trend. Uh, vintage Mentality. There you go. Uh, let's see. Conversations in the chat. I love that you guys come to the chat room early and, uh, you know, just form a little, little conversation group. I appreciate that. Uh, Alex Abram. Good question. Are you still doing the zero to $1,000 challenge still? Yes. Uh, it's just, uh, I took some time off because it's really labor intensive to film and edit those videos because it's filmed over the course of a whole week. And it's very difficult to work on that video and anything else. Like if I'm doing a, a week challenge, it's, it's hard to list stuff in my normal eBay store. It's hard keeping up with both, both eBay stores and the video footage and all that. So it's, I just took a break after week three cause I already hit a thousand dollars and I was, I just decided to wait until I had another free week where I could finish week four. And I unfortunately, I haven't had a free week yet. So I'm thinking that next next week, starting Monday, will be my free week. Excuse me, I'm cher Cherry Blade, cherry blade uh, Lemonade bang here. Uh, so I'll probably start filming next week, the fourth week, and then finish that up and post it the week before that, or the week after that. Uh, Palmetto Fines gave me a $5 super chat. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. You guys notice we have a subscription goal Right there, <laughs> in, the, in the bottom corner of the screen. I don't know if it's working or not. Somebody subscribed right before the uh, the live chat went live, and it says one. So if you're watching this and you're not yet subscribed to the channel, subscribe. If you if everything's working appropriately and you have not subscribed to the channel before, not like it won't work if you unsubscribe and then resubscribe. If you're a fresh subscriber, it should increase my subscription bar thing in the corner down there, and also it should have a little thing pop up over here in the corner of uh, Tina from Bob's Burgers, and she'll be twerking for you a little bit. But we'll we'll see. We'll see. Are we at 100K? No, not yet. About 400 subscribers away from 100K. So we'll uh, we'll try our best. Try our best to get there. Of course, your YouTube channel is going to grow in spurts. Like, in any channel is going to, like, one video will go viral, or you'll get a shout-out from a big channel, and you'll have, like, growth spurts, like, up and down. It's not going to be just, like, you know, the straight line growth for the whole life of your channel. My channel has gone through two or three, maybe even four growth spurts here and there. Uh, the first one was with the Goodwill palettes, which what we're going to be talking about today. Uh, but right now, of course, I'm in like one of the lulls, like a couple, like a month or so ago, I was getting like three to 400 subscribers a day. And now it's down to like a hundred to 150 a day. And of course it would do that. Like right when I'm getting so close to hundred K, uh, but, but it's okay. We'll get there. Uh, Jo Jojo Mojo 12. Hi, I've been been watching your videos. Thank you, Jojo Mojo 12. I appreciate that. I like when people go back and watch the older ones to kind of catch up. So, uh, okay, so anyway, the Goodwill Mystery Palette. I went today to back to the storage unit. I went, so the last Goodwill Palette video I made is when we found the mice family, mouse family or whatever, living in the palette. So we kind of left it there. I didn't make, I mean, I made that video. I went back like, um, I don't know, like a month and a half later or so, I just checked on it. I didn't see any mice. They were gone. Where I, they weren't where I left them, uh, and everything just looked normal. I didn't shook the box. I think they were gone. So that was like a month and a half ago, maybe two months ago. So I went back today, and I cleared out the front two pallets, the pallet that we left kind of half open that had the actual mouse in it, cleared out all that, and then I went to go 
open the last pallet and I pulled off the wrapper and man, it just stunk. Like it, it straight stunk so bad. Like it's just that, just that smell, you know, it's, it's, it's a good old mystery pallet. Don't know what's in there. And it's been in a non-climate controlled storage unit for seven months. So who knows what's in there? So I'm like, all right, well, let me just, let me just get in here and see what we can find. I made it, I don't know, like a foot down in the pallet and then found a, a rat's nest or a mouse nest or whatever. And it basically found out that the rat, the, I keep saying rat, it's mouse, they're mice. Uh, the, the mouse family moved from one pallet to another. So the mouse family was living in the front pallet. We opened it, startled them up. I put the babies back on the floor. And then when we came back, I guess the, the mama and papa mouse like picked them up and, put, and made a new nest in the next pallet. <laughs> and then all the babies died, apparently. Uh, Cause they were, I saw at least two dead baby, baby, baby mouse mice. Uh, so yeah. Yeah. Turtle, turtle bug says, ew, that's too much for me to deal with. Yeah. It was, it was just like gross. Like it stunk really bad. Um, this, the, like I said, it was like not right on top. It was kind of like in the upper middle. So I did get some pretty cool stuff from the top of it. But at this point, if anybody wants everything in the storage unit, I did find a juicer, a, uh, I don't know, some some fancy juicer that was like, I don't know if it works, but it has all the accessories, and the accessories were selling for probably like 50 bucks altogether. I left that in there. Uh, but if anybody wants a pallet, I'll, I'll, I'm to the point now where I just need to get out of the storage unit. So I'm like, how about I pay you 100 bucks and you just go clear out the storage unit for me, and you can keep everything. So if anybody is local to the Lexington, Columbia, South Carolina area and wants 100 bucks and has the ability to clean out that storage unit, let me know. Mouse, <laughs> mouse juicer. Yeah. And that, that's the thing. Like, even if there's like nicer stuff in there, it just needs so much cleaning, you know? Um, I don't know. I'm just, I'm not, yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna dig through the palette of mouse stuff. So basically I just need somebody to throw it all away for me. Cause I don't have time to mess with that. Uh, but okay. Let me find, let me, uh, I did get two things. These actually didn't even come. Maybe I didn't get anything from the first. Th these came out of the bottom of the first mouse palette, the last palette that I opened up that I didn't go through all the way. Uh, so I got two things out of there that I thought were pretty cool. Uh, let me show them to you here. Okay, first is this bowl. It was at the bottom. It was at the bottom of that palette. It's like a blue and white china bowl. I don't think it's old, but it is really nice. That's uh. Grace Fine Porcelain. I mean, just a really cool bowl. Not dirty or, I don't know, like I no chips or cracks or anything. I really like that. So I don't know what it's worth. I don't know anything about bowls or porcelain, but I do know blue and white stuff is kind of popular. Uh, so I think that would at least be worth my time listing on eBay um, or maybe even Facebook Marketplace because it would be awesome if I didn't have to ship this. That would be great. Trying to catch up on the the chat here. How many YouTubers are doing eBay videos from this world? Uh, I don't know. There's a lot of YouTubers doing eBay videos nowadays. Nowadays, it's the hot hot new thing. And then this item was super interesting. I found this at the bottom of the pallet. Okay, any guesses on what this is? Any? It's you're not gonna be able to see it. I'll just hold it back here. Any guesses on what this is? I don't, um, I, I found it and I was like, what in the world? But it was so interesting. I'm like, let me, let me look it up. Let me look it up. So I found this logo on the front, uh, edge of Bel Belgravia, Belgravia or whatever. And turns out this is a knife block. It has the little knife slats in the top. So it sits on the counter like this and the knives sit in the top like that. Uh, interesting, not really my style, but uh, pretty, pretty cool. And I looked up sold comps on this on eBay and I was actually really surprised. So like new, there's three that have sold and six listed. So it's got about a 50% sell through rate Two that sold were brand new in the box. And those both sold for like 80 free shipping and like 70 plus shipping, something like that. And then the other one was used and it sold for like 35 bucks plus shipping. And then the ones listed are listed all, I think they're all used listed anywhere from like 30 plus shipping up to like 60 70 free shipping so definitely i mean not like a home run i guess but 
definitely a weird item. Uh, and that I just I like this as an example of like always look stuff up. Like I could have easily just thrown this in the dumpster because I thought it was like a decorative table piece. A lot of people in our chat saying they thought it was a like a tabletop decor thing, but uh, I just took literally ten seconds to Google go, or eBay search that name, Edge of Belgravia, whatever, and bam, up came Soul Comps on eBay. So if you got time, look it up. You never know. Easy 20, 30 bucks, probably. Uh, so yeah, that was that's the that's the story about the pallet. Uh, I mean, I, I kind of expect it. You know, you can't really leave stuff in a uh, non-climate controlled storage unit for seven months and expect everything to be fine. Uh, flipping accountant says, Josh, is that a moose on your shirt drinking a beer? Yes. Okay. So this shirt from Homer, Alaska, shout out to, uh, Allison, big drift thrift. She sent me, uh, this shirt along with like a card game and a Chick-fil-A cow. Got it in my PO box yesterday. She sent me a ton of stuff. I really appreciate her. She's been a huge supporter of the channel over the last couple years, honestly. Um, She's my second. She's she's my favorite Alaskan, and my second favorite Alaskan is in the chat. Far North Thrift and at Far North. Well, I guess Far North Life. She was she's Far North Thrift on uh, Instagram. But shout out and Fisa. I say she's my second favorite because she's the only other person that I know that has uh, that lives in Alaska that resells. Actually, the only other person I know that lives in Alaska. I don't know a lot of people in Alaska. <laughs> she was born in Homer, Alaska. Look at there. Oh, in the in the back, the back says something like, "Put some, the musky brewski, put some stout in your snout." <laughs> oh, thank you so much, Allison. I appreciate that. Uh, let's see, we got a twenty dollar super chat from the full episode. Hello, I don't recognize your name, so welcome, welcome. Been watching for a long time. Finally subscribed. Sorry it took so long. My son uses my account. I love your channel. If you can wish Kelly a happy 34th birthday, thank you. Keep up the grind. Kelly, I don't know who you are, sweetheart, but happy 34th birthday. That's 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 big. That's like right before 35, and then that's right before 40, and that's right before 50, and next thing you know, you're going to be 120 years old. So don't, uh, don't let life pass you by. Make sure you're taking time to smell the roses. Kelly, hope you have a great birthday. Guys, I don't know if the subscribe thing is working or not. I don't. Maybe people just aren't subscribing. I don't know. I don't know. We'll we'll figure it out, I guess. Um. Melt Man Treasure, what's up? What is what is up? Um, have you heard of Louis Rossman? Yeah, is that the guy that fixes MacBook computers in like New York or something? And he gets all mad when people say that they had somebody else tell them their computer couldn't be fixed and then he fixes it for like 20 bucks. Or maybe I'm just thinking of a completely different person, but I'm pretty sure that's who that is. What is the weirdest thing a supporter sent you? Um, I don't know. I mean, I wouldn't say weird. I mean, I appreciate everything that everybody's ever sent me. Some people send me stuff that I don't really have a use for, um, but I still appreciate it, you know? Um, hit a milestone today. Hundred feedback on eBay. All positive. Been selling since November slash December. Yeah, I'm sure. Uh, that's awesome. That hundred hundred feedback since November slash December is really good. So keep it up. Keep it up. Let's say, oh, Becky Park. Uh, Becky Park on Poshmark's in the chat. What's up, Becky? Shout out to you. Uh, let's see. I don't think it's working. I subbed too right after you pointed out. Yeah, I don't think it's working. Come on, Streamlabs OBS. It worked for the one person. I don't think, I think it, I don't know. It just doesn't work during a live stream. I'm just going to take it down. Yes, I want to move subscription goal. Um, can you still get Goodwill mystery pallets? No, they don't sell them anymore. At least not around me. Occasionally, like the Goodwill bins will have like a pallet of like glassware, like all glass stuff, like an entire pallet, all glass. And they'll sell it for like $5. But I'm not going to buy. I wouldn't take it for free. I, they could pay me. They couldn't pay me $5 to take a pallet full of glassware. Just not not my thing. I'm sure some people want to deal with because you have to take all of it. You can't like redonate it. Uh, I'm just not interested in that at all. But that's pretty much the only thing available now. Sounds like you need some weird things sent to you from viewers. This one this one girl did send me like the, a glitter bomb package. It's like you can go online and basically like put in the person's address and it'll send them like a letter 
it's like, oh, well, this is really nice. Who's it from? When you open it up, glitter like sprays everywhere. Uh, she sent me that. I kind of knew it. It was like I saw it in there and I just opened it up anyway. But that was that was fun. Uh, Greg Sanders, uh, Josh, do you ever get stuff from auctions? I don't. I don't get stuff from auctions. I probably should go to more auctions. It's just like by the time you pay for the item and like taxes and the auctioneer's premium, whatever it's called, it's just I don't feel like it's not a good um, it's not a good deal anymore. Uh, Glory Van T- Gloria Van Tassel, Josh, do you realize you have more sc- subscribers than Rally Roots? Uh, actually, I don't. Rally Roots has like 177,000 subscribers, and I have 99,000 subscribers, so I don't. Rally Roots are awesome. Love them so much. Guys, I, I uh, channeled my inner Casey Neistat today as I was, um, I got this new like standing desk thing for my office, and I was trying to adjust it, and I accidentally knocked my uh, Zoom camera lens <laughs> off the desk and chipped can you see it i chipped it right there it's it, i didn't chip the glass come on focus focus there there we go i didn't chip the glass i just chipped the plastic so it still works fine but i'm like look at me being the typical you know casey Neistat style vlogger just breaking expensive camera equipment <laughs> but again it still works it still works fine i don't really the only thing i use this lens for is my outdoor like product photography when I'm like uh, taking pictures of shoes and stuff outdoors. Um, Like if you look at my eBay store, I just sold a pair of Hoka's. Um, Actually those, you should look at those because those were in pretty bad condition. And normally I'm not going to buy any shoes that are in really bad condition unless they're Hoka's or like super rare, like Jordans or something. Like I'm not going to buy Nikes that are in bad condition because nobody's going to buy Nikes that are in bad condition. But these Hoka's were basically bald on the bottom. I got them when I went to North Carolina thrifting with Ben from Ready, Set, Resale. And uh, I put in a description, I'm like, these are these are in kind of bad shape. <laughs> you know, like these are pretty bald, but they were a good size. They were like men's 11.5, two extra wide. So I'm like, you know, I'm not sure how much life is going to be left in these. They're pretty bald on the bottom, but the insoles are good. There's no rips or holes. And I priced them accordingly. Like, if, if they were in good condition, good to great condition, I probably could have sold them for $80, $80, $200. But I priced these at $39.99 plus shipping. Uh, and I listed them two days ago, and they just sold right before the live stream started. So you can go to my eBay store and, like, look through my solds. There's, it's the most recent thing I sold. But they, uh, they're in bad condition. Like, I remember Drew, Profit Monsters, said he sold a pair that were in really bad condition. But mine, those were worse. Those were worse than his. I think I paid, like eight dollars for them seven or eight dollars and sold for 39 plus shipping um so yeah don't undersell hokas guys like i I know that i've been talking about them a lot and i've getting i'm getting a lot of people messaging me about them saying that oh i found three pairs at my local thrift store and sold them on facebook for 30 bucks i'm like stop doing that (laughs) hokas are great shoes and if we start tanking the price on those it's just going to ruin the brand um hokas are very expensive shoes people will pay if they're in good condition people will pay 60 to to $100, depending on the exact model. Uh, so don't undersell yourself for Hocus, even in bad condition. How are the golf clubs selling? The golf clubs are selling really great. I actually got another kind of like mini lot. Uh, a viewer reached out and said she had a bunch of head covers, like brand new without tag head covers. And I got, um, I don't know, like 75 or 80. I don't remember exactly how many there were, but it was like 175 bucks shipped. Uh, and I listed 15 or 20 of them the other day, all the putter ones I had. Uh, but I'm excited about that. So I don't know if I'll include that in my golf haul, like increase the price of the golf haul by 175 bucks and then include them in the profit. I don't know. But uh, but yeah, I love golf stuff. It's selling. I mean, it's some of them sell super fast. Some of them are long tail items, but hopefully getting into spring and and uh, cooler weather or warmer weather, whatever way you want to look at it, um, it will they'll start selling a little bit faster. Zops. What's my favorite beer? Uh, I like a Blue Moon. Blue Moon, just the normal classic Blue Moon with in a cold glass with a nice little orange on the side. Mama with a camera. I did that once. I knocked an expensive lens on the tile floor. It heard it shatter. Turned out it was just the filter that broke and saved my lens. That's awesome. Awesome. Camera lenses can be super expensive. I've had a lot of people say in my last couple live streams and videos that they enjoy the quality of the of the videos now. And this live stream looks good because, one, I have good internet, so it's like, uh, you know, it's not like buffering or anything like that. It's, I'm pretty sure I'm streaming in 1080p, maybe. I don't know. It's either 720 or 1080. 
but also it's a good camera and good camera lens. The camera itself is like 600 bucks and the lens is like 400. So it's for a thousand dollar camera, it better look it better be, you know, a really good live stream quality for sure. Jen's closet gyms. Are you still running? Uh, not currently, not right now, right now I'm sitting. <laughs> no, I, uh, I mean, I, we're, I never really started back running. I was just like walking a lot. Uh, I walked this morning, I walked a couple miles this morning. Are Prima golf clubs worth anything? I don't know. I've never heard of that brand. Uh, and usually I think before this golf club haul, I thought if I hadn't heard of the brand, it wasn't worth anything. But then I found golf clubs in here that I'd never heard of that were selling for a lot of money, way more than I thought. So I would just look it up. Gary shot a 92 last Sunday, second round of the season. 94 was my average last year for context. That's awesome. That's awesome. Improving, improving two shots. That's, that's pretty difficult. So that's awesome, man. I need to get out and play more consistently. If I'm playing like once a week, once or twice a week, I can probably get down. If I'm playing in a course that I'm familiar with, um, I could probably, I don't know, like 80 to 85, somewhere around there, some, something like that. I'm, I'm, I think I'm normally about like a 12 to 15 handicap, depending on how often I play. So I like it. I like it a lot. I like golf. I watch your videos a lot and I've been selling part-time on eBay for about a year and a half and have over $20,000 in sales in the last 12 months, only working a couple hours a night. That's awesome. That's awesome. My favorite thing about eBay is that you can kind of make it whatever size business you want. If you want to make an extra hundred bucks a month, you can do that pretty easily. If you want to make $10,000 a month, you can do that. It's not as easy, but it's definitely possible. Uh, there's, it's, it's, it's the best side business, side gig, or even full-time job that I can think of for sure. So I've gotten some uh, I've gotten some items lately. I've been thrifting lately. I haven't actually been to a thrift store with my camera in a while, um, but I've been thrifting lately and I picked up some pretty good items. I have them over here, so I figured I'd show you guys some of the stuff I've been picking up recently. Uh, I actually have four, five pairs of shoes that I picked up that I paid up for. Like my there's this Goodwill in my town. There's one Goodwill that has like a shoe boutique section where they upcharge on shoes. Uh, and I don't mind paying up for shoes if they're worth it, you know, like I'm not going to pay 25 bucks for a pair of Nikes, like Nike free runs, but I'll pay 25 bucks for a pair of Hoka's if they're in excellent, like, like new condition, you know? Uh, so I'll show you these shoes that I, that I picked up. Haley actually got some of these as well. Uh, let's see how many likes is this? We're at 126 likes right now. I'm going to show you this first thing and then we'll have like a light goal to see. Uh, so I actually, I actually got this today. This is a uh, an adult size Perry the Platypus onesie. Uh, I think I think it would fit me. So if we can get to uh, let's see, there's 430 people watching and only 154 likes. So if we can get to 400 likes, 400 likes in this live stream, I will put on this Perry the Platypus costume. Hopefully it'll fit. Look, it's even got a little tail. That's cute. Uh, I'll put it on. I'll put it on. 400 likes. We got that today. Also, oh no, I dropped <laughs> I dropped my other camera lens. It's fine. It didn't break. It landed on the carpet, but it rolled off the chair. Okay, so I, wanna, I got this pair of Sorel women's boots today. These were $8.50. I know it's like, I'm just going to kneel here for a second. I know it's out of season for Sorel boots because... Uh, it's not winter anymore, but I guess it's still cold and FISA up there in Alaska. I'm sure these will be in style for the next six months or so. Uh, these are, I don't really know anything about the exact model, but these are in pretty good condition. Uh, these are a women's, maybe the models in the Sorel. Women's NL, whatever that means. 1540-010, women's size six, size six boots. These were $8.50. Not 100% sure what I can get, but probably like 60 to 80 bucks plus shipping, maybe? I don't know. If I'm way off on that, let me know. Uh, but uh, yeah, couldn't pass them up for $8.50. Next! Okay, next I got, uh, actually Haley found these the other day. This pair of OnCloud women's shoes, women's running shoes. Come on, focus. Focus. Come on, camera. There we go. On cloud women's shoes. These are in really good condition. Minimal signs of wear. 
But you see, we paid up for these. Can you see that? We paid $12.97. But for a pair of on cloud shoes in this condition, I don't think I don't think that's too much to pay. $12.97, no sales tax at thrift stores in South Carolina. So what? We can probably get like 40 to 60 bucks for these. I think that's I think that's pretty close. 40, 60 bucks. We're at 234 likes. Let's keep it going for Perry. This next pair of shoes is awesome. Okay. These are some uh, Reebok Concept Sample 03. I don't know what that means, but these are like literally brand new. Never worn, never never worn a day in their life. Uh, oh, here's the, the price just fell off, but it was, God, come on. <laughs> it's so, so small to focus on. The price was $12.97, okay? For these literally brand new Reebok shoes in a really cool colorway. I have no idea what these are worth. Uh, these are a men's size 12. Pretty good size. Pretty good size, men's size 12. Pretty dope. Pretty dope. What do you think? Like 100 bucks? How did you get sample shoes? Is this good? I literally just found, I literally just found them at Goodwill. <laughs> Sitting on the shelf. Are sample shoes good? 150 to 200? Is that an estimate or is that like, you know? Guys, look at look at Moe's. <laughs> look at Moe's back there. <laughs> he just like lays on the carpet and watches me because I he probably thinks I'm talking to myself. Get the suit on. We're we're not. We got to be 400 likes. Only 255 so far. 200, 125 is what I'm listing for if I couldn't find comps. I love those Reeboks and they are my size. Kurt Collins, I'll give you a deal. 200 bucks. <laughs> uh, uh, what size are the on cloud shoes? The on cloud shoes are a women's, I think. Yeah, women's size 8.5. Women's 8.5. So the Reeboks were dope. Let's get some more here. Next, I got these uh, Jordans. I've never seen a pair like this, so I don't know, like, what. Come on. Come on. It's on, like, face autofocus. I'll just put it over. I don't know what I don't know what these are, but they appear to be in pretty good condition. These are, like, the Air Airco? I don't know. Again, I I only know. Oh, it says Jumpman. It says Jumpman right there. Uh, we paid nine dollars and ninety seven cents for these, and I thought they were pretty cool. Recent comp on new Reebok sixty dollars free ship. That's too low. That's too low. There's a pre owned pair for eighteen dollars. That's dumb. It's dumb. I'm gonna list high. Uh, but yeah, these are cool. There's the inside says something about Jumpman. Can you see that? This way. I don't know. I just thought these were cool. Just Google the style code. We could Google the style code, but we'll just move on. Max 200. Jumpman Nike Max 200. I think that's what those are. Anyway, 10 bucks. Can't go wrong with those. Haley found these. Uh, these were regular price, just $6.50. I thought these were really cool. I'll just back them up. These are like some Converse with a little skull, like tattoo style artwork on there. I don't think I've ever picked up Converse to resell because um, I just didn't. I don't know. Just typically they're not that good, like the the traditional Converse. But these were pretty interesting. They got like the glitter glitter tag up there, and these are a uh, men's seven point five, women's size nine. I don't know. I don't know what I should list these as. A men's or a women's pro I guess I don't know maybe men's what do you guys think what's the style code on the Nikes CD like CDs uh, 6105 dash 100 uh, so yeah these six dollars and fifty cents on these Haley found them thought they were pretty cool interesting interesting 282 likes guys I don't, I don't know if we're gonna get there 
Is 400 too high? Shoes are still gendered. Canceled. Hey, I didn't make the shoes. <laughs> if it has a men and women listing, list as unisex. Yeah, but then you got to think of like, do people actually search for unisex shoes? Like if I'm searching for shoes on eBay, I'm probably just going to search men's shoes. And if a woman is searching for shoes on eBay, they're probably going to search women's shoes. So I feel like if you... Like I've had like kids shoes that are also like kids Jordans that also fit a woman size six and a half. And obviously if you list it as a woman six and a half, you have per, you usually have a better chance of selling it than listing as a kid size four or whatever it is. Um, so I don't know. Converse probably 45 bucks. That's what I was thinking like 40 to $50 or so. Why not just put both sides on the title? Yeah. You just want to be careful that you don't get like an item not as described case. Or you could say like these are a kid size six, but they fit the same as a according to you know the Nike website. These Jordans fit the same as a women's size seven and a half. Linda Bunts, I have no idea how to like Linda. So if you if you're in the chat, you just hit the X button on the chat to like exit out of the chat, and then you'll see the option to like click the thumbs up. It should be gray. And then when you click the thumbs up, look like me, I'll click the thumbs up right now. Bam, two hundred ninety four likes. Um. You click the thumbs up, it turns blue, and then you can go back to the chat after that. <laughs> Nike Jordan Air Max 200 white ID. I'd pop them up for like 60 bucks. What size is on them? Uh, these are, I think, a little bit bigger. These are a men's size 13. Men's 13 on those Nikes. Let's get all that. Next up, these. These are the most expensive shoes that i've bought ever <laughs> ever at a thrift store i mean I've, I've, i think i've bought like retail arbitrage shoes more expensive than this but this is the most expensive pair i've ever bought at the thrift store these are lacrosse 1600 like winter insulated hunting boots and i paid a whopping 22 dollars and 97 cents for these but but they're in very good condition you know, they were worn a couple times, maybe one once or twice. And uh, they're men's size 11, which is a great size. And if you look up sold comps on lacrosse men's hunting boots, size six or lacrosse model 1600 men's hunting boots, these things retail for like 150 to $175 brand new, which is no joke. And these are very heavy <laughs> too. Uh, I mean, super thick soles. Um, so I think I could probably list these on Facebook Marketplace locally. I should probably get them listed pretty quickly before it gets too hot. Uh, but I think I could pretty easily get close to 100 bucks for these. 80 to 100 bucks plus shipping uh, is what I expect to get for these. What do you guys think? Am I way off on that? I don't know. Well, those are cool. Uh, I don't. I don't have a problem. You know, if Goodwill wants to increase their prices, that's fine as long as it's still worth it with me for me. You know, like just. I don't mind you charging 22 bucks for like $175 hunting boots. The problem is when you start charging $175 for hunting boots like this or like 50, like they had a pair of Crocs, like brown leather Crocs and they were my size and I was going to get them because Crocs are kind of comfortable and I was like, I ah, just use them to like lounge around the house in and they wanted like $25 for those. I'm like, so you got a $175 pair of hunting boots for $22 and then right next to them, you got a pair of brown Crocs. For three dollars more, like who in the heck is pricing this stuff? So anyway, that's how I feel about Goodwill pricing. Like, I, I want everybody to make money. If Goodwill can in their it can increase their prices slightly, and I can still buy their stuff and and profit on eBay, that's fine. I understand. You know, Goodwill's a business. You know, every business increases their prices from time to time. Good, the Goodwill hasn't. Um, my Goodwills here haven't increased their prices on anything in the last five years since I've been going to Goodwills. Um, so yeah, I, I, I don't know. It's time. It's time. I'm not surprised they're starting to do it now just on shoes. Crocs brand new at Marshall's are 1999. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, these were like the leather top. They weren't like just brown rubber. They had like rubber bottoms and like brown leather tops and they were like brand new, like brand new without tags, but still 25 bucks. Come on. Goodwill. Jeez Louise. Uh, do you have a good row of rewards in your state? No, I wish I did because I spend like hundred bucks a month, hundreds of bucks per month at Goodwill. Some people say that like they'll have thrift stores where like you come in, if you spend twenty dollars, you get a coupon for twenty 
percent off your next purchase or 20 percent off any item uh, i remember chris the bona fide hustler he lives he lives in texas and he has uh maybe like a savers or something that if they like i don't know if it was current but i remember him like donating like a can, canned goods or something that especially if you donated canned goods to their food drive they give you a coupon for like 20 percent off any item and he would wait and like have the, like literally take you know five or six cans of food get his coupon and wait until he found like some item that was like you know a hundred bucks or so that he could sell for like three or four hundred locally and then use that coupon to get twenty dollars off uh that of that hundred dollar item you know just making sure trying to get the most bang for his buck with the coupons hello keith Mon monahan hello hello uh kristen uh, I have a recurring nightmare that I forgot to take my yard shoe slash dog shoe Crocs off in the morning before work, and I wear them to work. Yeesh, that would be that would be bad. That happened to me. I, I wore my bedroom slippers to Goodwill one time. I just got too excited. <laughs> we have half price. Yeah, we we have half price stuff. Like they'll like every after something has been listed for like four weeks, I think it goes half price, and then the next week it goes for like a dollar or something. But I don't know. I guess that's the best way to do it. What's up, Kevin Arant? Or Arant? Arant? I found a garage sale. I found a garage band drum set with working pedal price for $42. Holy cow, Goodwill. Yeah, that's obviously not not worth it. Um, I don't know. I mean, some Goodwill, like the Goodwill I went to in North Carolina with Ben, it was just some goodwills and thrift stores aren't for reselling they're just for personal use like if you wanted stuff for personal use that was a great store to go to i mean you could get stuff for you know pretty fair prices like a brand new pair of nikes for like you know 25 dollars, or a pair of used hokas for 20 bucks or you know 200 dollars snowboard jacket i think that was like 50 bucks or so at the time so obviously it's not enough profit left for me to mess with it but for personal use that's totally fine Wait, we aren't supposed to go thrifting in slippers? I don't know. For some of the people that I've seen at the Goodwill Bins, you can pretty much go thrifting in any anything. <laughs> some of our Goodwill locations give 15% off coupon for a donation and rewards program that gives you 35% off coupon for $100 in total purchases. That's pretty good. Our Goodwills don't do anything. There's no no loyalty program at all. I wish they would. Our Salvation Army do. do. They have uh, like a... Thing. Anytime you spend more than ten dollars, you get a punch in your card, and then once you fill up your card with ten punches, you get ten dollars off your next item. So it's usually it's not even worth it for me. Like I, I don't even remember my punch card half the time. James Charles in the chat. Hi sisters. Kathy Gerald. Hey here, that's my mom. <laughs> hey mom. First time in the chat. Shout out my mom. Love you so much. How much super chat do I need to to send to shave your head? Uh, I would never, I would never shave my head. Actually, I've always like when I was uh, early twenties, twenty two, before I met Haley, twenty one, twenty two, somewhere around there. I shaved my head into a mohawk one night, just out of we were bored, you know, shenanigans. Shaved it into a mohawk, and I was like nervous, but it actually ended up looking really good. Like I look good with a mohawk. Uh, Haley does not want me to have a mohawk, so I will not have a mohawk now. Uh, but uh, my head's just so big that, like, I don't know. Like, my hair in the middle looks good, so the mohawk's just like... It was a it was a thick mohawk, just, like, basically shaved from, like, here over. Like, cut all this and just left this big chunk in the middle. Uh, and it made my head look skinnier than it is, which is always awesome. Sandy L. Hey, Josh's, hey Josh's mom. Good job raising this fine young man. Yep, she did a great job raising me. Obviously, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, she says I don't look good with a mohawk. <laughs> I guess, I guess my mom's right. I guess uh, Baldy Pal Picking says I'll shave my head just for a little super chat. <laughs> he, uh, yeah, you don't have much, don't have much left up there, Baldy Pal. It's in your name. Thumbs up, thumbs, uh, thumbs, thumbs up the video for Josh's mom. That's right, she's here. She came to see me in the Perry the Platypus costume. 357 likes. We got, uh, what is that? 43? We need 43 more likes for me to put on, try to put on at least, the Perry the Platypus costume. 
show us the pics. Uh, I don't know if there's any. I didn't take a lot of pictures back then. I guess I can try to find one. Uh, okay, well, I got a, a couple other things. Couple other things here. All right, so I got this. Uh, I picked this up today. This cool like insulated coffee mug. It's like wood grain, and then like I don't know, it's mana. M M A M A N N A. This was at Salvation Army for a dollar ninety nine cents. I just thought it was super cool. It's like I don't know if it's I don't think it's new, but really cool. I like I like the look of that. Picked up a couple hats. This Oklahoma hat. Nice little vintage look to it. I don't think it's actually vintage, but pretty cool. Couldn't leave that behind for like 20, I think 50 cents. 50 cents is what they charged me. Got a nice little Houston Texans hat. Uh, NFL New Era. New Era hat. Pretty cool there. 50 cents for that one as well. Uh, JEM Pickers, $5 super chat. Hey, Josh, you've been a great help with reselling on eBay. All your tips and videos. Love the channel. Keep it up. I'll keep watching and supporting. JEM, thank you so much for the $5 super chat. You're the best. I really appreciate that. Uh, okay. Okay. I think we're good. 399 likes. Well, we need one more like. Ah! <laughs> what is that? Oh, the five. Okay. Yeah, the super chat, the the alert was, was delayed. Thanks for the super chat, man. I appreciate that. 400, 403. Okay. Let me show these last two items, uh, these next two items, and then I'll put on the costume. Uh, I saw these. I got two of these bad boys in Salvation Army today. Anybody know about these? Scrubbing bubbles, automatic shower cleaner, original scent, new, new in package, $1.99 each. Guess how much these sell for on Amazon and eBay. Like, I mean, it's not like a crazy amount, but it's crazier than you'd think if you didn't already have a, a working knowledge about this stuff. Just guess. Gold bubbles. This is very expensive liquid nowadays. I paid a dollar and ninety nine cents for each one of these. Colby says twenty. Simply Dana says twenty four. Fifteen. Fifteen. Vintage. Okay. 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 Whew, whew, okay. You can, see, you can Rolling with Stones gets it. One million dollars. Uh, no, these uh paid a dollar ninety nine cents for these on eBay. They'll probably sell for like. 20 to 25 bucks plus shipping and on Amazon they sell for I think 39.99 um for each each one 39.99 for each 30 34 ounce uh thing I am gated on these on Amazon so I can't sell them on Amazon we'll stick to eBay uh but definitely you know like I said I'm not it's not a home run but definitely something to be on the lookout for it's it's even better if you can find the actual unit like the scrubbing bubbles unit that actually sprays the shower these are just the liquid refills uh but 20 25 bucks plus shipping on these pretty good pretty good somebody said they had one listed for like a year and hasn't sold um i mean that's gonna be a long tail item you don't have thousands of people out there looking for shower refills but they don't make this stuff anymore so if you've got those few people out there that love it you know and and use it all the time they're eventually gonna run out of juice and they're gonna need some more juice you know need some juice all right let me get this let me get this fairy platypus costume on Man, I hope it fits. <laughs> she, when the Goodwill cashier was ringing it up, she was like, "Did you get this out of the children's section?" I said, "No, it's men's men's pajamas, please, ma'am." One leg at a time. It has, <laughs> it has claws. <laughs> Where, oh, that's a pocket. Okay, I gotta. <sighs> it fits. It fits comfortably. This is nice. Gotta button it up all the way. Get my hands hands in. <laughs> this is this is the best thing. This was two dollars and fifty cents. I'm already hot. 
I can't I can't type anymore. Oh man. Okay, I'm gonna have to, I I gotta take the gloves off. This it just got stupid stupid hot in here real fast. Real real fast. I gotta pop the buttons on this thing. Just kidding. It's actually pretty roomy. I thought it was gonna be tight. This is nice. Solid purchase. This is probably the best thing that I've purchased in a while. My mom must be so proud. <laughs> I wonder if she left. She didn't want to see this. Josh just found his new live uniform. I had a... Do you guys remember back in the back in the day when I had my... I think I've had a reindeer outfit. I had the alien costume that I wore to Dream Deals. Uh, yeah. Love your giggles. Thanks. <laughs> every Every man... <laughs> Every man wants to hear somebody say that they love his giggles. Derek Wright, what is up? Gave a five pound super chat. I don't know. Is that more or less than dollars? I don't know. How much for a video of you thrifting in the onesie? Um, huh. I don't know. It, it, it'd have to be a cool day. It'd have to be a cool day because this thing is it's getting hot in here. You stick a meat thermometer in here. That mercury is going to be moving, baby. Chick Rocker 77, $3 super chat. My hero. Thank you, Chick Rocker 77. And creative name right after that. I, I should probably wait and for the for the alerts to pop up on the screen. But creative name, $2 super chat. Thanks for all the tips. Keep up the great work. Thank you, creative name. I appreciate that. <laughs> Digging in the bins in the platypus costume. I you know, at the bins, I doubt anybody would even notice. Because Perry the Platypus. <laughs> Sneaky. He sneaks around. He's like a little ninja, you know? I probably should have washed this before I put it on, but whatever. Oh, look at Moe's back there. He's laying on his back. <laughs> oh. Five pounds is like $6.09 in the U.S. That's awesome. That's awesome. Thanks for the $6.09. Are you in Huntersville? No, I'm in South Carolina. I thought I missed it, but I think I joined at the right time. <laughs> You did. You did join at the right time for sure. We have 434 likes, 514 people watching. That is awesome. Do I have anything else to show you guys? Oh, how could I forget? Oh, check out. Check out the tail. <laughs> Look at the tail. I, I got Moses sleeping, but I got him. I got him this, uh, I think it's an alligator. I'm not 100% sure. I, yeah, doesn't it look like an alligator? It's got a little tail. I got him this. Let's, Moe's, come here. Come here, get this. Your ears flipped inside out. That's embarrassing. What? Come here. It's okay. It's yours. There you go. Love you so much. You can you can do whatever you want now. Okay. There he goes. It's a dinosaur. I, I, th <laughs> Chris Marker says it's a shark. I actually thought it was a shark for the longest time. Uh, but I don't know. It's either a dinosaur. I thought it was an alligator because it's flat. Like, you know, flat like an alligator. But I don't know. Darlene Godina. Hey, Josh, did you ever finish selling all the golf clubs? No. I didn't even list all the golf clubs yet. It'll, it'll, it'll happen. It'll happen. Greg Sanders. $5 super chat. Josh, you wear it well. Greg, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. I love him backing out of the room. Yeah, anytime he like comes in a room, he I guess he's not confident to turn around without hitting the wall, so he just <laughs> he just kind of shimmies on out. Shark gator sore. Look at him. Here is he. You can see him. He's going to have that thing toe up from the flow up. How far from Polly's Island are you? Uh, a while. Maybe like two hours, two and a half hours, something like that. You don't recognize you, don't recognize you in that costume. You don't know what to... Th oh, he doesn't. Yeah, maybe he, maybe he doesn't like my costume. Power the Platypus? That was my Dr. Doofenshmirtz, if you couldn't tell. <laughs> The Karate Flipper, $2 super chat. 10% cut for Ben item. I got based on a tip from you. Awesome. 
Awesome. Oh, speaking of Ben's, I got I I have a, a Goodwill Ben's haul I got yesterday. I spent two dollars. Do you guys want to see that? Of course you want to see that. I'll be right back. Okay. Oh, what did I miss? Oh, that's the... Oh, Bolo Buddies. Bolo Buddies spent a $5 super chat. Been a sub since you were a baby channel at less than 1K. Congrats on almost hitting a huge milestone of 100K. Bolo Buddies, thank you so much. I remember I was like, when I was really marketing my channel a lot and I was trying to you know, collab with people and I found Bolo Buddies on Instagram and I saw that, I saw what she was doing. She basically like shares people's eBay store and like goes over their like top Bolos or whatever. Uh, and so I contacted her and was like, hey, what do I have to do to get my eBay store on your channel? And she was like, that, nothing. I'll just do it because I'm a nice person. She didn't say that. She's just She just is a nice person. So, Courtney, thank you so much for being one of my uh, longest subscribers. I appreciate that. Uh, okay, so we got – I picked up this golf club, okay? No, it's very old. It's uh, – come on. Come, oh, look at Moe's back there. <laughs> come on. Focus. Oh, there it goes. First flight? First flight with an eagle? I've never heard of this brand before. Uh, and normally I would never pick up a golf club this old. This thing is literally like wood wood and plastic. It would probably explode if you hit the golf ball too hard. But apparently there's like a new genre of people playing golf where they want to use old equipment just because it's harder and it makes the game harder. Um, golf clubs are $1 at the Goodwill Bins. And this was in like great condition. Like, I don't know if you can see, but it's... Just, just really good condition. Just like shiny, not any, like, just really, look at that. Look at that. Look, dead stock, baby. As you can't see. But, uh, yeah, took, took a chance on this. Got a dollar into it. I'm just going to list it and see what happens. I don't know. Maybe it'll sell for 15 bucks plus shipping. I don't know. Courtney just tagged me in a post on Facebook. Thanks, Courtney. Next up, I got this lion. Uh, I was going to get it uh, for Moe's to play with because uh, I don't think I think it's too big. I don't think he would eat it. I think he would just like play with it. Uh, but then I thought it's probably worth something. So I think I paid 50 cents for this and it's uh, Wild Republic. Um, 2015 Wild Republic lion stuffed animal. Um, probably not worth a ton of money and it will probably be a pretty long tail item. <laughs> Oh, gosh. <laughs> Literally and figuratively, a long tail item. Uh, but I think uh, take some good pictures, get it listed. Within six to eight months, it should sell. And I wouldn't be surprised if this sold for like 30, 40 bucks plus shipping. Big stuffed animals like this sell pretty well. Uh, I think Drew Profit Monsters, I think he just sold like a big tiger. Uh, like a big stuffed tiger, a little bit bigger than this, but I think I want to say you got like 80 bucks for that. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. 80, 80 bucks. So stuffed animals can be good, especially bigger ones like this. They just take a while to sell. You're gotta, you got to wait for somebody to need a big stuffed lion like this. Uh, but when they do need it, you're, you're kind of willing to pay for it. You know, most stuffed animals at like a store, like a brand new stuffed animal, even a small lion would be like 15, 20 bucks, you know? So a big one like this, if you need it, you find it on eBay for 40, 50 bucks plus shipping. Seems like a pretty good deal to me. So we got that. And then I got these two items. I spent a total of $2 on all this stuff. So we got the two items I just showed you. Hey, Moe's. No, you can't have the lion. No, the lion is... No, you can smell it. Please don't eat it. Um, so spent... Let's just call it a dollar per item. Because we got four items for... Or, no, we got four... 50 cents per item. Let's call it 50 cents per item. I uh, picked up this pair of Sam Edelman wedge sandals. Um, I haven't really had a lot of luck with Sam Sam Edelman. Uh, I mean, they sell, but just not for a lot of money. So I would never pay like full price for these, you know, like six bucks or so. Because uh, these are probably going to be like a $20 Facebook Marketplace flip. Uh, but these are a good color, like the cork, cork wedge bottoms. Really good condition. Uh, minimal signs of wear for sure. Um now, I think these will sell pretty quickly in spring. These are a women's size 8, 8.5 leather upper. Um, again, it's it's a good brand. It's just saturated. You know, a lot of people, a lot of people are still flipping Sam Edelman. I don't know. Maybe that's just my experience. Maybe you can sell Sam Edelman 
uh, wedges on Poshmark or something for like 40 bucks. More power to you. I I was I got these expecting to pay to to sell them for about 15 20 bucks on Facebook Marketplace plus shipping. Uh, then I got this visor, little Titleist uh, Pro V1 on the side and FootJoy logo on the side um, on the other side. I will say when it comes to golfing stuff, like Titleist, Titleist and Pro V. Just in case you don't know, Pro V1 is a model of Titleist golf ball. Uh, so a lot of golf shirts, like if you found a Titleist or a FootJoy golf shirt, it's going to have, oftentimes, it's going to have like a, a company logo or a car dealership logo or a golf course logo embroidered on it as well. And generally, the more stuff it has embroidered on it, the less valuable it is because... You know, it, usually if you don't know what golf course that is or you don't know what car dealership that is, you don't want to wear the shirt. Um, but with this, Titleist, even though it has different, Titleist and FootJoy are different companies, I think, unless somebody acquired something. Um, but generally, these go hand in hand. So even though it's a different company, it's not, it actually probably increases the value of the hat instead of decreasing it. Um, but if this was a Titleist hat on the front and on the side, it had like, Golden Hills Golf Course, you know, embroidered on, embroidered on the side, that would decrease the value because that's a very specific golf course. Uh, but this hat, it's a little dirty. I throw it in the washing machine. That'll probably, all the stains will come out, and I could probably get 15, 20 bucks for this on Facebook, Facebook or eBay. Probably about the same price, either one, but pretty cool, pretty cool visor here. So again, two bucks for all that stuff the golf club, the lion, the golf visor, and the Sam Edelman shoes. Can't beat it. Can't beat it. No like major home run items, but that's a pretty easy way to turn two bucks into 60, 75 bucks. Something. Footjoy is separate. Yeah. Footjoy is a separate company, but nobody is going to, it, it doesn't decrease the value. That's what I'm trying to say. Oh, okay. Just picked up a pair of 15 pound dumbbells for $20 because I've watched you have great success selling them, hoping they fit in a flat rate box. Yeah, 15, if you get a pair of 15 pound dumbbells, those should fit in a flat rate, like a medium flat rate box. They should fit. Um, but I would definitely try to sell them locally to avoid shipping if you can. Ashley C wants to buy the club for me. That's awesome. Uh, shoot, me, shoot me an email, harrytornado at gmail.com. Uh, I will make sure to check it tonight and uh, I'll sell it to you. Super cheap. Moses really drooling. Yeah, he he really wants to, he really wants the line. He likes fuzzy stuff. Okay, I gotta I gotta turn this little fan on because this 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 period the platypus costume is like fleece lined or something. Man, this thing is. Whew. Just sub from my other two channels. Whoop whoop. Come on, a hundred k. Let's let's check. Let me check my. Check my subscriber thingy over here. 99,601. I've gotten like 27 new subscribers since we started this live stream. S scream. Live scream. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, so th this has been a success. I appreciate you guys being here. Uh, still over 500 people watching. Just a grown man sitting in his office in a Perry the Platypus costume. This is the content. It's not the content you want, but it's the content you need. Throttle Therapy, 77, 187. It's in a $5 super chat. People are so mean and nasty. Not only have I learned so much, made more money, motivated by you, but your personality is so refreshing. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. It's uh, it's it's just, I don't know. It's just been a really fun experience because I've, I've been like this my whole life, but I've had such, I've never had an audience, you know? My audience is just my friends, and your friends get kind of, I don't know, bored of like seeing stuff like this so it's i don't know it's just interesting having a youtube audience of you guys they're awesome enough to hang out with me on a friday afternoon i'm sure you could be doing other stuff um just fun we can all get together have fun learn from each other be friends my best friends drew and joey i met them from youtube guys oh speaking of that okay so here let me i gotta, I gotta let me just take the top off just for one second because i'm i'm so hot i'm about to pass out um somebody asked what i was drinking earlier bang cherry blade lemonade baby um, that my 100,000 subscriber celebration video is filmed, edited, and uploaded to YouTube as unlisted. Once I hit 100,000, all I have to do is make it public. We'll probably premiere it, but I'd really, really, really like to premiere it Sunday night because that's just a really good time to, you know, people are available to watch it, and I'm really excited about the video. It's really fun. It took 
it, it was just a lot that went into the idea and the planning and the filming and the editing. And uh, I'm just really excited about it. Um, and I really want you guys to see it. So if whatever you can do, I, we're, we're six, 400, 400, 496, no, wait, 300, 396 subscribers away from a hundred thousand. So if we could hit that by this Sunday in two days, that would be really, really awesome. So if you guys, like I said, if you're watching this right now, you're probably already subscribed. If you're not, go ahead and subscribe. It doesn't cost any money. You can unsubscribe later if you want, if you really want to. But I, I, th I think, I think that I generally provide enough value and entertainment to warrant a free subscription to my YouTube channel. I appreciate that. Uh, how much profit can you make on 15 pound dumbbells? Uh, 15 pound dumbbells. It depends on what you pay for them. Uh, I haven't sold 15 pounders in a while, but the last time I did, I think they sold for like $65 free shipping cost like 15 bucks to ship. So like $50, but I think dumbbell prices have gone down a little bit lately, a little bit. So maybe like 50 bucks free shipping. So obviously I wouldn't pay a lot for them right now. Uh, my, my sister just sold a case of Red Bull Winter Edition Plum Twist on eBay for a ridiculous amount of $160. That's crazy. I've been seeing people on Instagram talk about the limited edition Red Bull flavors that you could flip. Um, but I, I just haven't gotten into it. That's that's awesome. That's cr It's crazy how much people will pay for stuff like that. Put the hood back on or I'm logging out. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Monkey's playing Scrabble. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's back on. Please don't leave. Clorox Senpai, Josh, I'm here waiting, waiting here watching from trucking school. Clorox Senpai, that's awesome. Congratulations of getting accepted into trucking school. I hope you graduate top of your class. I'm listening while I prep dinner for the kiddos. Dave ran, ran, Dave's random finds, that's awesome, man. We, uh, my wife made um, this like pot roast stuff the other night in the instant pot, man, it was delicious. Shout out Haley. She's not watching because she just got off work at 3.30 and she's on the way home. So she's not, she better not be watching and driving. Uh, but shout out her because that was delicious. I had it for lunch today as well. It was delicious. Love the hoodie. Uh, Dale, DLJ from PA. Guys, if you're not like uh, Dale's channel, DLJ from PA, PA uh, she's just like so fun to watch. She's, she's a reseller from Pennsylvania. And... Uh, I don't know. I just really I don't watch your channel all the time. I don't really watch a lot of reseller videos because I'm usually making my own reseller videos or live streaming or watching other genres of YouTube videos. But um, when I do have time to watch her videos, they're just always so fun. Uh, so if you guys want to check her channel out, that would be awesome. How do you get subs uh, Amanda Brown? How did you get subscribers when you first started out? Amanda, I love talking about YouTube, so I will I'll tackle that. So when I first started uh, making YouTube videos, I wasn't reselling it. I was just making like skits and like just funny videos, whatever, getting no views other than like family and friends. And I was like, oh, excuse me. <laughs> I was like, okay, if I want to grow this and actually, you know, get subscribers and make this something that could actually be something real one day, I need to, I started watching videos about how to grow on YouTube. And the first thing you have to do is pick, pick a genre of video. Like it's very difficult to grow on YouTube if you're making makeup tutorials and food videos and vlog style videos and reselling videos and DIY it's you have to pick a category and stick with it you can make other channels for other things and it, and you, you could possibly get to a point one day where people just like you for your personality like Casey Neistat it, he can make a video about anything and it would get the same amount of views because people just like him it doesn't matter what he makes his videos about um, but for normal folks like you and me we have to make our videos about one single category so I picked reselling because at the time, I mean, I was just looking at like the the big guys and reselling, and it seemed like it was, um, I, I don't know, it was just like pretty simple. Like nobody was using fancy cameras, nobody was really using fancy editing, nobody was. It was just basic. Most people were just using GoPros, you know. I'm like, okay, if these top dogs in this category are using basic equipment like this, and their videos are pretty basic, I feel like I could come in here with a little bit higher production quality than what people are used to. And maybe that'll help me get some attention off the bat. Um, so I think, I think that's what helped me first. I started making use, reselling based videos. That's all I made for a, couple, a month or so. I spent time editing, spent time making thumbnails. Um, yeah, just really making sure my videos were high quality in terms of production value. 
Um, and that helped me grow a little bit. I started getting like other reselling traffic. A lot of Josh was the first reseller, I think, that found my channel. Uh, he watched like my 100 subscriber video uh, and commented on that. I found his channel. I found um, Candace. I don't remember her last name, but she and I started like reselling videos at the same time. Um, she didn't continue, but shout out Candace if you're watching this later. Um, but anyway, I started like that. And then I just started like marketing myself, like watching uh, Rally Roots were doing their Monday night live streams and they were getting, you know, seven, eight, nine hundred 900 people watching consistently and they couldn't answer all the questions because they get a lot of dumb questions, honestly. So I was just going in there and answering every single question that they were skipping or didn't have time to answer. I was answering it. Um, I was making sure that it was stuff I knew how to answer. I wasn't just giving people bad advice. Uh, but I was answering it. People, a couple people were subscribing to my channel because of that, because I was answering questions on there. I was watching other reseller videos, commenting on the videos, joining every live stream I could. I was super chatting a lot. Uh, I mean, I probably spent like $500 in super chat within in super chats in like six months. Um, just like putting my name out there. Like people knew, oh, there's Harry Tornado. Somebody was like, oh, there's Harry Tornado buying subscribers again. I'm like, not buying subscribers is different than marketing yourself. Uh, if I can pay five bucks and have my name pop up on a screen on a live live stream that's a thousand people are watching, that's worth five dollars, you know. Um, so anyway, that's what I did with that. Uh, and then, uh, I mean, that's that's pretty much it. Just like watch videos, comment, good comments, not like great video, but like a comment that shows that you actually watch the video and like sharing your opinion and thoughts about the video. It shows the creator that you're watching. Put your name out there because if if I see somebody watching my channel and they're like constantly commenting really well thought out comments on multiple videos and their channel name is something interesting or whatever i'll probably end up going to their channel at some point to watch what kind of videos they have uh and then people did that to me found my video um enjoyed it i did some uh like trades in the beginning uh for cincinnati picker i made his intro the intro that he uses now i made that for him uh, in exchange for a shout out, his shout out, I was at like 500 subscribers at the time. He gave me a shout out and I got like two or 300 extra. So almost doubled my channel size from that. I made hustle at home mom's outro video for her for a shout out. And that gave me another couple hundred subscribers. Um, and yeah. And after that, it was just consistently uploading good quality videos, trying to get better with each upload. Um, and yeah. And now here we are today sitting in a, Sitting in my office, Perry the Platypus costume, about to hit 100,000 subscribers. Flippy McFlipperson, buying subscribers or marketing? Hobbies don't buy tacos. Thanks, Flippy. I appreciate that. Uh, Shop E Deals gave a $2.99 super sticker earlier. Thank you so much for that. Let me scroll back up here, make sure I didn't lose anything else. We got Throttle Therapy. Um, I, think, I think the biggest thing to grow on YouTube uh, is that you just have to be likable, you know? Like I was, uh, there's this YouTube channel that I watched in the very beginning. I still watch it now occasionally, but it's called Charisma on Command. And it's this guy that kind of breaks down like social aspects of like personalities and like subtle things people can do to like appear confident or to make people like you or things you should not do to, if you want people to not like you. Uh, and he'll like give examples of celebrities like Brie, was it Brie Larson or whatever? The girl that played uh, Wonder Woman, uh, not Wonder Woman, Captain Marvel. Um, She's like, I don't know, kind of annoying. And he was like breaking down her interviews and like talking about her body language and words and tones and what she was using to like just get, I mean, she's really defensive and like just, you it, you can tell. Like when she, they had this interview, it was like uh, Thor, Chris, Chris Hemsworth, the Hemsworth guy that plays Thor. It was her and then the guy that plays uh, like the Falcon, not the Falcon, uh, Iron Man's friend. Uh, anyway, anyway, they were talking and she was just being really weird and like just annoying and like self-promoting. And I don't know. I don't know. It's really interesting. If you haven't seen that YouTube channel, Charisma on Command, you should check it out. Uh, I, I, that helped me a lot because uh, as I was saying, the reason I was talking about this is I think the biggest thing to grow on YouTube is just you have to be likable. Um, people don't want to subscribe or follow someone on YouTube that ever appears like self-centered or self-promoting or um, you know, like Logan Paul, I guess, like, I mean, Logan Paul is an extremely successful YouTuber in terms of money, but generally people think he's a douche, you know, like he's just got that jerky attitude about him. Uh, like I think the two 
like opposite ends of the spectrum. Let's keep it in the Marvel universe. You have like the, the Brie Larson where people are like, why is she so mean and defensive and like just not easy to get along? I don't like her. But then you got like the Chris Pratt. Like so many people love Chris Pratt because he's like funny and humble and like jokes around and seems like he's like a person you wouldn't mind hanging out with. And I think whether you're in Hollywood or on YouTube, just having a personality that people enjoy, like people like, again, being humble, being, um, you know, normal down to earth, not being all flashy and like you're better than everybody else. Um, obviously as you, as you grow on the YouTube or any kind of platform, you become, you transition into like a normal person to like a Z list celebrity up to, you know, maybe an A list celebrity one day in that process, you're going to have to, you can't, I don't know, like I, I respond to YouTube comments all the time and answer all my Instagram messages. I have 100,000 subscribers. I don't know anybody else with 100,000 subscribers except Rally Roots that respond to every single Instagram message that they get. It's very, very difficult to do. I spend at least two hours a day responding to messages on Instagram or email or comments or something like that. But as you grow, you know, if I get to 10 million subscribers one day, that's not something that I can realistically keep doing. You know, I can't respond. I, if you send PewDiePie uh, an Instagram DM, he's not going to respond to you. It's just not something. So um, I don't know if you're ever if you're ever ev evaluating a YouTuber about like if they're a good person or not, don't factor in like if they respond to your comments because at some just look like if they're getting, you know, I, I think my channel gets 10 to 20,000 views a day. And of those views, I don't, I don't know, like 100, 150, 200 comments a day. Um, but if somebody's getting you know a million views a day or five million views a day, they're they they're probably not going to respond to your comments. Um, anyway, I feel like I'm babbling, but you, you know what I'm saying? Like, you just have to take everything into account. Like, I've I've messaged people on Instagram. This one girl that lives in South Carolina, she's a reseller. I messaged her on Instagram. She had like seven thousand followers. I had like three thousand followers, and I was like, and she had like six thousand subscribers on YouTube. I had like a thousand. And so I was, you know, wanting to collab to, to like use her as like a marketing boost, you know, but I was really nice. I was like, Hey, you know, I think she's in like Charleston or something. I was like, you're in Charleston. I'm in Columbia. We're both resellers. I've seen you post pictures of you at the bins here in Columbia. Next time you're in town, let me know. Maybe we can collab, make some videos together. She didn't respond ever, ever, never responded. And I'm like, you only have like 7,000 subscribers or like six or 7,000 followers and subscribers on Instagram and YouTube. And you can't even respond to me. Like. I don't know. I was really turned off by that. But now she's at like 10,000 followers and I'm at 100,000, you know? So it's, I, I think engaging with the audience and being responsive and being participating in your own community is key because it, it lets people form a closer bond with you and it makes you seem like a normal down to earth person. That's not too good uh, to you know, respond to your lowly viewer. So I don't know. That's been my focus is just making sure that I stay humble, making sure I stay grounded, making sure you know, the success and money doesn't ever go to my head or anything like that. Uh, so if you guys ever, if you ever think that I'm getting too big for my britches, you say, you say Josh, stop it. <laughs> anyway, anyway, I've babbled, I babbled, but you get what I'm saying. Just be a good person. Some, but some people aren't good people. I've seen channels that are like, have like 200 subscribers and it's, they're not growing because they're just, just awful. <laughs> they just seem like awful people to be around, you know? And so you gotta, be, you gotta be a good, I think, again, the moral of the story, to grow on YouTube, I think personality is more important than a camera, more important than editing, more important than content, just having a good personality. I think, I think that's the key to growing on YouTube. Everything, if you compare a good personality with an expensive camera, with fancy editing, with purple lights in the background, that's what allows you to grow even faster, you know, all those things just supplement. But the key thing in growth, in my opinion, is just having a likable personality. If you have a likable personality, people will watch your videos no matter what you talk about. Okay, I've been getting a lot of, a lot of something, a lot of alerts. I gotta go back. I gotta go back and make sure we got flippies. Side Hustle Sam gave a four ninety nine super chat. Thank you so much, Side Hustle Sam. I appreciate that. He just started his channel recently. I've been talking to him behind the scenes a little bit. The Jarhead Entrepreneur five dollars super chat. Congratulations as you close in on that silver play button. I'm ninety nine thousand seventeen away from mine. <laughs> been here since the Josh's of reselling days. Got the mug. You got that limited edition mug. Maybe that mug will be worth something, worth more than you paid one day. 
Uh, thanks for the super chat, man. I appreciate that. Then we got uh, performance parts, streets, cars, $2 super chat. Did you get that full palette from Dream Deals? No, not yet. Not yet. Uh, the guy that owns Dream Deals uh, offered me the opportunity to buy a whole sealed palette, like off the truck. Um, I like the idea. I think it'll make a cool video, but I got to figure out what to do with the stuff <laughs> after I buy it. So if you guys have an idea of how I can turn that into a video, I have the opportunity to buy an entire palette from Dream Deals. Um, I don't know. I don't know what's going to be in it, but I th you know, I think it'll be a good video if I can figure out the logistics. Um, TJW Patriot, hire me as your full-time message replier. I ha I've actually had a couple people like ask me if I needed that, but they've been like social media people and not resellers. The majority of messages I get are questions about reselling, so you have to you have to know you have to know reselling stuff, you know. Uh, Dapper Dapper Kitty Store here tonight. I, I found you because of Hustle at Home Mom. That's awesome. I love I love Ashley's channel for the amount of other stuff she has going on in her life, like her now working on third kid and you know dealing with her family and and all that stuff and everything she's been through. She, her channel is just awesome. Um, uh, she's she's getting more consistent video uploads. Like when her kids last year when her kids went homeschooled, I think she took like a pretty long break from YouTube, but she's still growing really fast. So I really enjoy her channel as well. Um, this is uh, okay. We got that. Uh, where to go? Where to go? Where to go? Where? To go? Assist official DKK fifty dollars. Fifth. What is fifty DKK? I don't know what that is, but thank you, thank you so much for whatever DKK is. Man, I'm always late. Love the content. No problem. I'll be here all week. I'm actually going to be leaving in about 15 minutes when my wife gets home. Oh, there's two squirrels running around the yard. My wife will be home in about 15 minutes, so i got to leave after that. But love you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, Andrea, next you're cracking me up today. Love the Perry PJs. Thank you, Andrea. I appreciate that. Cassie B, 499 Super Chat. Had to unsub a reseller because his GF joined the show, and she has zero personality and ruined the show. Yeah, generally, like, if you're a guy and you can add your significant other to the show, that generally helps. People like the family aspect. Generally, if um, any, any of my videos where Haley joins in, those typically perform a little bit better. Uh, but if your significant other is boring or comes across as, I don't know, I don't know, people, I don't know. It's the, it's the X factor, you know? They always say the X factor. There's, there's just... Some some people just like people or not like people, and they can't quite put their finger on why. Like Chris Pratt, like I really like him. I don't. I I can kind of think of reasons. You know, he's humble and funny and stuff like that. But it, it's not like definitive. Like a lot of people just like him just because, just because. You know, you can't exactly say, it, and that's what you want to go for. But then again, you could be the opposite. Like I just don't like that guy, and I don't know why. I just don't like him. <laughs> Kristen Maniki sell wholesale mystery boxes to us, kind of like how Rally Roots does with shoes. I do sell uh, some mystery boxes from time to time. Um, I just uh, sold one locally to Flippy McFlipperson. He's going to be filming an unboxing of that. That was a good one. Twenty dollar mystery box. It's going to be a good box. Um, but I don't. I don't know. Like some of the Dreamsville stuff. Like some of it's junk. You know, not everything. But if it's an entire palette, it's not going to be all good stuff. You know, because um, I, I I want it to be like legit like right off the truck nothing padded or anything like that um so i don't know <laughs> hobbies don't buy tacos still laughing about that one yeah I, that was a quote from my instagram stories the, the other day and i uh i made a t-shirt real fast one day only and i think i sold like 30 of them so shout out to you guys that bought those one day only t-shirts uh greet Haley wearing that i'm gonna keep this on until Haley gets home for sure i think i think she's gonna like the tail <laughs> uh matt mcclelland mcclelland uh you're basically the chris pratt of reselling matt that is a huge compliment thank you so much i i i would love to be considered the chris pratt of reselling i just need to lose some weight i pull an actual chris pratt i'm i'm currently parks and rec chris pratt i need to become the guardians of the galaxy chris pratt and then then my life will will be complete <laughs> Amazon sells a lot of junk in general. Yeah, it's not it's not the Amazon overstock store's fault that they get a lot of junk. It's Amazon's fault. 
Central Florida Thrifter uh, bought the shirt. Thank you. Thank you for buying the taco shirt. Too much bang, brother. Not enough bang, brother. We should get some, like, DoorDash tonight, and I'll answer the door in my Perry the Platypus costume. <laughs> Whoa, what did I walk into? Josh is in a tornado onesie. This is not a tornado onesie. This is Perry the freaking Platypus. Does this look like a tornado to you? It's a platypus tail. Which, funny enough, could probably pass as a tornado. It's similar shape. Johnny Karate. <laughs> chop, chop, kick, kick, chop, chop, kick, kick, chop. I just... <laughs> Can you please show her reaction? I, I'd have to, like, secretly film it. Because if, if Haley knows I'm filming her... I tried filming her one time in, like, my productivity video. Like, when she got out of the car, I just had the camera. I was like, I've been really productive. Hey, look at all the stuff I, I had. And, um... Or I did, and she was like, uh, she doesn't really like being on camera. She has to be in the perfect mood for it. You should try the new energy drink by Ghost. Ooh, I don't know what that is, but I'm interested. Reselling in Spain is very much difficult. You are lucky in the States. Yeah, but, I mean, it, like, the United States has a lot of pros and cons. You know, pro is, like, we live in a very wasteful society, and I can go to a garage sale and find thousands of dollars worth of items to resell on the internet you know because people just literally you can literally go on the side of the road and people are just throwing away valuable items okay people it's a very wasteful society here which is good and bad you know good for reselling bad for the environment but then spain spain is beautiful i'm assuming i've seen pictures i've never been i'd love to go one day um like in my last video i was talking about like the cost of living here people are like oh i need to move to south carolina it's so cheap there i'm like yeah but you get what you pay for there's nothing to do here except thrift and there's not really any job opportunities like yeah it's cheap here but like college graduates in south carolina are lucky to make like 40 grand a year you know like starting out so it's all relative uh, so many people are like oh i live in w washington dc and my house is three hundred thousand dollars i'm like yeah but you probably make two hundred thousand dollars a year you know it's it's all relative Did I miss any drone footage? Get your license. I did. I took my commercial drone license test. I got a 78. Not bad for only studying for about three or four hours. Uh, I don't have my actual license yet, but they will. I think my temporary one will be loaded on the FAA website this week. And then my permanent one, my little pilot license card, uh, will be sent to me in a couple weeks. Uh, that's better than OKC. Yeah, I mean, uh, like, I looked at the cheapest states to live in. I think Oklahoma was one of the cheapest, but it's Oklahoma, you know? There's nothing there but farm and tornadoes. Hey, I live in D.C. Yeah, like, D.C. is expensive, but you probably, nobody, like, men, there's, like, literally adults here working jobs as, like, you know, receptionists or whatever, making 10, 11, 12 bucks an hour. Like, I'm sure receptionists in Washington, D.C. would make a lot more than that. Let's see. Copper's Corner. Almost missed that. Uh, 4 dollars Super Chat. Awesome videos and information. I'm currently a police officer and just getting started in reselling. Maybe one day I'll be as successful as you. Uh, uh, Copper's Corner, I wish you the best of luck. It's really interesting. Um, I know another big youtuber who's actually a i don't want to say i can't say his name but he's actually a homicide detective and a reseller which is really interesting um so yeah that's a, that's a, i know you can't like talk about it and I, I don't know the laws but I'm, I'm sure like all the police officers i know can't even use their real name on their facebook profiles so i'm sure you can't vlog about it but it would be interesting it would be interesting to watch but i wish you wish you good luck man Uh, simply Dana, get your guitar out and sing us a song. No thanks. I haven't I haven't played or sang anything in a long time. I think this is enough. I think my bangs are wearing off. Assist official DKK twenty dollars. So this if the first one was like seven six six dollars seven this is like 
two or three dollars. DKK is Danish kroner. Much love from Denmark. No homo. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for the Danish kroner. That sounds like a donut. What what your number is now? Please check. I bet you're a hundred away. I don't know. We'll see. I was at ninety. I'm ninety nine thousand six hundred and thirty. So I'm three hundred and seventy away. Three hundred and seventy away, which is pretty cool. No more Pokemon hunting. I would love to. Uh, if anybody has a Shining Fates ETV they would like to sell me for a reasonable price, let me know. I'll buy it. Ah, so that's how he gets his inventory. I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. I get my inventory from the thrift store. Do you have two eBay accounts in case you get hit with another Vero? I do have two eBay accounts, but not in case I get hit with another Vero. Um, I guess it's I guess it's good. I don't know. Somebody actually reached out to me earlier this week or last week and said they were actually suspended on eBay indefinitely for having two accounts. I don't I don't remember if they explained further, but that's weird. That's weird. But because I, I know a bunch of people with two eBay accounts, so I don't know. I have the benefit that you know. Worst case scenario, my main eBay store gets shut down permanently for a Vero. I can just make a YouTube video about it, and you guys are awesome. And I'm sure I could promote my my eBay, my new eBay store that I would have to make, and you guys would follow me there. Um, that's that's a that's a big plus of being a YouTuber. Um, so yeah, I'm not super worried about that. But if I was a normal person, then yeah, you might be more concerned about Vero. But I, as long as you're not sourcing it. Amazon Ben stores, <laughs> to be honest, you're probably going to be fine when it comes to Vero. Just don't sell medical supplies. Don't sell software. Don't sell anything with uh, hemp in it. You should be fine. Batman Comic 87, do you use the app Woof? Woof.com, the Washington University Public Health Fund. Those ETBs don't exist. Yeah, they, they do. That's it. I don't is I don't I, I don't know a lot about Pokemon, but Shining Fates, right? Shining Fates, that's the new Pokemon set, and they have ETBs for sale, but they're really hard to find or something. I don't know. Side hustle, Sam. Does your editing software allow you to make thumbnails? Uh, no, I use Canva, Canva Pro, to make my thumbnails. Rolling with Stones. I might have an extra Shining Fates ETB for tradesies. Rolling, with, I'll I'll trade you anything. I'll trade you. trade you this i'm just kidding i would never trade this uh chris rolling with stones sent me this uh way back when like a year year and a half ago this is like one of the first things i got from a viewer in my uh p.o box uh and he had a part i don't know if it was a big part or small part whatever in uh in designing this guy from the power rangers movie so chris thanks man it's a little dusty but every time i look at it i think about you Assist official DKK, another another uh, Danish kroner donut, uh, fifty this time. That's like six bucks. Reselling in Denmark is hard. We pay twenty five percent income taxes and fifty five percent in taxes, which is which, which is taking before we get paid from the government. Yeah, uh, they all they uh, yeah. I, I love the argument about like how people in Denmark are really happy because everything's free, but everything's not free. Like it maybe it's good, you know. Like if you I don't know. Like, hey, let us take 75% of all the money that you make, and we'll just give you free health care and free child care and free college and all that stuff. I personally would rather just let the people who want those things pay for those things at a reasonable price instead of making everybody pay for them that don't need it. Um, but, yeah, to each their own. My last video when I talked about my health insurance, I had a couple of people say, like, oh, we live in the U.K., and it's free here. I'm like, it's not free. You pay for it. No such thing as free lunch. No such thing as free anything. I'm from a small town, so we aren't restricted on our social media like some bigger cities are. Some can't post anything about their department. Oh, okay, okay. Well, that's awesome. I think I mean, if you have the ability to talk about you know your police life in your reselling videos, that's good. Um, I think it's good, at least. Um, I think... You know, people watch I th I th when people watch my videos, they watch for like reselling content, like what I'm buying, what I'm selling and, you know, the business side of things. But I also think people like seeing your personal life a little bit, like 
talking about Moe's and when Haley's in the videos and, you know, you know, people like a mixture like entertainment and education. Um, so I think anytime, anytime you can mix a little bit of your personal life in there, um, you got to find the appropriate mix, like not too much that people lose interest, um, or get bored and not, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. What about Kerb Alerts? Those are, those are free. Kerb Alerts are free. Yeah. That, I guess that's I guess that's free. <laughs> the healthcare costs in America aren't reasonable. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. It's not reasonable. I, the last time I was in the hospital, I had a kidney stone. Which kidney stones suck, by the way. Uh, and I went to the emergency room, and it turns out that that hospital was not in my network for my insurance or whatever. So they didn't pay anything. And I had uh, went in emergency room. They gave me some pain medicine, like Dilaudid or something, and did a CAT scan to make sure it was a kidney stone. And then I was gone, and it was ten thousand dollars. <laughs> and I said, "Well, my insurance didn't pay for it. Can you give me a break?" And they said, "Nope." And so, I paid ten thousand dollars. So next time I have a kidney stone, this hospital, that same hospital is in my network now, of course. Uh, but yeah, it's really frustrating. That you pay so much for health insurance and that it didn't even cover anything. <sighs> I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> Olivia Vander, health healthcare in America is free for low income families. I'm currently on it and works great. Uh, yeah, I mean, if you're like, if you live in poverty, I mean, there's like free, there's like free clinics and stuff. And generally, if you don't make, um, I think in South Carolina, if you make less, like your household income is less than like thirty thousand dollars a year most of your medical bills will be just be written off as like charity anyway, but then hospitals have to make money somehow. So then the people that can pay or the people that have insurance, whatever have to pay more, you know? So that's, that's the problem. Where'd you get that pink light bin? Pink, the pink light back here. I got it from Amazon. It is, it is a, it's a little battery powered light like this. It's really bright. Looks cool, but it was expensive. It was like seventy dollars, but it's cool. Business expense, baby. All right, folks. It is four oh one p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I am out of here. Four hundred ninety-eight people. Five hundred one people watching this right now. That's crazy. That is crazy. What is this? Uh... Okay, cool. I think we're good. Let me make sure I didn't miss any super chats. The last one was DKK. Okay, cool, cool, cool. We're caught up. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, lovely Friday afternoon to you. I hope you guys have a uh, had a good week at work if you're working. Um, hope you have a great night going into the weekend. Relax. Maybe spring yard sales. You guys got yard sales tomorrow? I might go yard sale tomorrow. Who knows? But love you so much. I appreciate you guys being here. Um, I would really like to hit 100,000 subscribers by a Sunday night so I could post that video. And I'm currently at 99,642. So help me out. I'd greatly appreciate it. Love you so much. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. I should make a Perry the Platypus noise. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know how to do it.